Hey guys, the Cube Dude here, and today I'm finally answering your questions from back in March. So all the way back in March, quite a while ago, I asked you guys to ask me some questions, and you guys may have thought that I forgot about it during the Q&A, but this will probably be a two-part episode because I have, as you can see in the background, me solving my 3 by 3 by 5 set. I think that's the correct term for it, I'm not exactly sure. However, I went all the way back to that video, I'm currently in the comments, and I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions, or all of the questions. So, first question comes from Origami Katakana. Do you like weasels? Uh, I'm actually kind of blanking on what a weasel looks like. So, yeah, weasels are pretty cool, I guess. They look pretty cute. Just googled it. So, answer that's yes. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to butcher this person's name, but might as well. Uh, let's see. Sharia, and then I'm not going to say your last name because I'm going to butcher it. Will you continue cubing after you go to college? Yes. As you guys can probably tell. Has anyone ever discouraged you for cubing because you were colorblind? No, I actually get, just get lots of questions. So right after they figure out that I can solve Rubik's Cubes. Uh, that I'm colorblind, they always ask, wait, how can you solve a Rubik's Cube if you're colorblind? However, even if I only saw black and white, I'd still see different shades of gray, so I could still solve a cube probably just as fast. I just have a little bit of trouble with green and orange is what I tell them, as you guys know, for, since I mention it pretty much in every video. So the next question, Nathan Skating, how old were you when you solved your first cube? I was... I still have no idea whether it was in 6th grade or 5th, 6th, or 7th. I'm going to go ahead and say 6th grade. So that was 7 years ago, I think. So I was 11 or 12, I guess. Uh, Vihan Nodkarni, what would your reaction be if you lost all your puzzles? Honestly, I'd probably start crying, or I'd freak out. I'd probably have like a mini heart attack, because my collection, I'm almost at 500 cubes by the time you guys are watching this. And I'm currently trying to get a job to save up money for a big unboxing that I've been wanting to do for years. So, uh, I'd freak out, have a little heart attack. Will you do a freezing hands relay in the future? Uh, maybe, since I'm in Washington now, it does get pretty cold here. So maybe I can sit outside for a little bit, get my hands freezing cold, come in and quickly make that video. That comes from Siddharth. Um, Mikey Talty, what should I do to get sub-20 on 3 by 3 Just practice, learn full PLL and OLL, work on those. Uh, Cube or Cubes, do you even cube, bro? I, I believe I do. I mean, I, I have a cubing channel, so I, I believe I do cube. F-G-H-J-O-R-T, what are your main cubes? I'll just go over them quickly. 2x2 uh, two two is the Shishuang, 3x3 three three against 357mm. Three 4, Weisu, 5, Ao Chuang, 6, Ao Shi, 7, Ao Fu, Mega Minx, Shang Xiao, Pyraminx, Moyu, and as all, and then OH is Megans as well. When you were learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube, how, how many times did you throw it, getting frustrated? I don't get why people throw it, because that would just ruin it, so I have not thrown it at all. I have slammed my Rubik's Snake against my mirror, though, at home, because I was really pissed off at my mom. I forgot why. Actually, I remember why, just I'm not going to say why. But I was really pissed off, and then that's why there's... You guys probably don't know this because you haven't seen it a lot, but that's why there's tape, because a lot of the pieces fell off. Or all the caps uh, fell off, so I taped them back on. Cube me not. What if your parents said you shouldn't cube anymore? Uh, I probably would not listen to them, considering how I have 474 puzzles as of now, or 472 if you don't count the puzzometry. Then he also asks, how do you manage between cubing and studying? That's actually a really good question because uh, I usually have to make like a to-do list for my homework and then I'll give myself a lot of hours of distraction and if I can get, manage to get the homework done while finding distraction time, which is usually cubing, uh, that's usually how I manage it. Like today, Saturday, November 8th, you're probably not watching this for quite a while, maybe a few weeks, but... I have to do some work today, but I will probably make a video. Actually, I'm making a video right now. So uh, I sort of planned not to do my homework until like 6, because 6 to 2, I usually go to sleep around 2 in the morning. It's like 8 hours of work I can do right there. So uh, I guess it's not a good idea to really just stay up late like I do. 
but uh, get your homework done right when you get home from school. To all of you guys still in school, in college, just just manage your time. Just as long as if your parents nag you, this is what I do: is just tell them that you'll get it done on time and you'll get it done well, and that they should stop nagging you because. My parents stopped, and I got some pretty good grades in high school. Uh, Gabrielle, what editing program do you use? Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Camp 2000, do you play any console or computer games? If so, can you tell us? It would be awesome. Uh, I play, I used to play all the Guitar Heroes. That was in junior high, and then I went to Call of Duty. And now, in college, I brought my Xbox. I have Grand Theft Auto, which I play the most, but I don't really play at all, but... I play that the most out of any of the games I have, and I have all of the Call of Duties here. Uh, Battlefield, Assassin's Creed, I don't play those, but I have them. I got them for very cheap, but I will start playing them eventually. Uh, Adam Jones, if you woke up on an island in the middle of nowhere, which cube would you want beside you? Only one, and it doesn't have to be one that you own. I'd probably just have my Gans 3, so I could practice and get a lot faster. Katie Girl, how... What's your favorite puzzle to solve? Ghost Cube, the green one to be specific. What's your favorite brand of puzzles? More you, I'd have to say. Kelly Marshall, what was your first shapeshifter? I think maybe the 3x3x5. I think that. Unless you consider a gear cube shapeshifting. Because I think I got my gear cube in like my very first unboxing. Um, guinea pigs rock. They actually do. Would you rather have two heads or eyebrows that move all over your face like worms? I'd probably... That's a good question. I'm actually going to screenshot that right now so I could ask my friends that. Because I like having some funny would you rathers. Uh, I'd probably have the eyebrows that move all over my face. Uh, E-E-N-W-I-E-L-E-R-A-A-R. -E -E -A -A I don't want to pronounce that. They asked, what's your favorite cube and why ghost cube? Because... I like to think I'm good at it, and it's really not that hard. If you guys just, like, sit down for ten minutes and just, like, try and solve the ghost cube, it's not hard. It's just a 3 by 3 mod. Uh, it's it's quote-unquote difficult to wrap your mind around, is what my, my opinion is at first, but then you get the hang of it. And my PB has around a minute 45, I think, on that. I'm trying to get faster. Uh, how did you start cubing? I just... Well, the first time I solved the cube, I just picked up a cube because I think I was bored and I wanted to figure it out. And then I looked it up, I watched Pogo Bat's video, and then I started speed cubing because I saw this one guy with a collection video of over 140 puzzles. And I'm actually going to put that video in the description because not a lot of you have seen it because it's not even a big cubing channel. Just someone had 140 plus puzzles, and I was like, whoa, I, like, I want to try that. And so then, or I can do that. So then I ordered a few puzzles. And now I have 472, or two, 474, as of November 8th. I've been recording this. Who's your cubing idol? Uh, Crazy Bad Cuber and Red KB, I would have to say. They both have been very influential in my channel. And uh, I've talked to Crazy Bad Cuber, and he's actually pretty nice when you talk to him. Adam McRae, do you like Mega Minx? Uh, not really. What do you average? Not good. The Emma Star, 1, 2, 3. How long do you cube per day, slash per week? I guess I'll give you per day, and then you can multiply that by seven to get per week. Uh, I'm usually around cubes for a few hours. I'd say like three to four hours every day. Like if I'm ever just watching videos, I'll, I'll start cubing. So then you can figure out the week. Cube girl, what made you want to get into speed cubing? I already went over that. The the Actually, I, I didn't finish. The 140 puzzles, I ordered puzzles, started collecting, made some tutorials, and then made unboxings and realized people like unboxings because there's a lot of them. So then I started having a lot of unboxings, and then as my channel got bigger, I decided to start speed cubing because I've become a cubing channel. And there's that. The cubing was, can you do a huge unboxing of every single Pyraminx and Mega Minx? And no, because then I'd have to reorder them to do a huge unboxing. Uh, I don't even know how to do... How to, these aren't even letters. Uh, how did cubing affect your life? It's actually been one of the biggest things that's ever happened in my life, because I deal with it every single day. YouTube and cubing have been such a huge part of my life, I didn't, really don't know where I'd be without it. And... Uh,
my friends. I've made a, one of my best, a few of my best friends are actually Cubers, Alex, Stevani, The Nub, and Shane. Both amazing friends of mine. So is Chris and Isaiah. And those are the main people I talk to. And Dan. Dan. Not crazy about a Cuber, Dan, but uh, Das Cubing Dan. Uh, Alex and Shane are both amazing guys. You guys should go check out their channel. So is Chris, Dan, and Isaiah. But uh, I'm closer to Alex and Shane. Closer to Alex out of any of them. So cubing has definitely affected my life in a great way. Um, my school, it has become a distraction at times. But I've managed my way around uh, doing all that cubing before school. And schoolwork comes first before cubing for all of you guys out there that don't already know that. And then family, uh, a lot of my family members, whenever they have friends over or people over, they always tell me to solve a cube for them, for their friends or more cousins or whatever. I don't, I don't really know why, but I guess they just like telling people I can solve a cube. Uh, origami, katakata, again, to you know full OLL and PLL. I know all the PLLs except for two G perms as of now, because I'm learning from Shane's website, which can be found in the description. Arak, Arik Barak, how do you make your intros? My intro, uh, Four Dimensions HD made it a long time ago and just randomly sent it to me, so I really appreciate it. Four Dimensions HD if you're watching. I'm not sure if you do still watch my videos, but that he made the intro for free. I didn't even ask him for it, uh, so you guys can go ask him for it. Four Dimensions HD, that's the number four. Then uh, the JT Cuber, what are your mains? 2x2 two two through 7x7, seven seven. I already said those. Spear Likes Cricket 23, would you rather ride a unicorn or a Pegasus? Definitely a unicorn. Kevin Kelly, if you could only have one puzzle, what would it be? My Gans 3 or my Ghost Cube. The Puzzling Cuber, who's your favorite Cuber on YouTube and why? I don't really have a favorite Cuber. I have favorites, plural. That would be Crazy Bad Cuber, Red KB, Just Keep Cubing, Alex Devani the Nub, and JR Cuber. Uh, you guys should all go check out their channels. They're all pretty awesome. What do you think of all the new Moyu cubes, and will you be getting the new Moyu cubes? The answer to that is yes. I have, and they listed a few of them, the 5, 6, 7, 13, Pyraminx, and Scoob. I have all of those except for the 13 by 13 which I might be getting. I'm going to try and get a, a good deal on it. But as of November 8th, I do not have it, but I do have the rest, and they're all pretty good, and I have reviews on all of them, except for the 7 by 7 because Alex was supposed to do a review of that, and then he accidentally deleted all the footage, so I'm actually going to message him after this uh, audio recording. Next, uh, I clicked on something that I shouldn't have clicked on. Okay, what is your favorite puzzle? Ghost Cube, Milk, or Juice? Definitely Juice. Do you... Do you see yourself getting a world record someday? Definitely not. That comes from Dem Cubes. Do you ever cube during class in college? Uh, do I? I do like, occasionally. If I know I'm not going to be doing anything, I'll bring my mini Zanchi. But during high school, I cubed a lot more. But I still did cube in class. I made sure to, brought, uh, to bring quiet cubes like a Shangshell Aurora or uh, in college. I bring the Shangshell. 2x2, two two, the new one. Next question. Uh, how did you learn to solve your basic cubes? Uh, oh, that is 2x2, two 3x3, two, three 3, 4, 5, Pyraminx, and Megaminx. 4x4, four four, actually, I think there's this guy named Rob. I, I don't know his YouTube channel, but he does origami and some cubing stuff. I learned 4x4 four four and 5x5 five five from him, 3x3 three three from Pogobat, 2x2 two two from... I want to say Thrust if he has a tutorial, because I remember watching his videos when I was learning those. Uh, Pyraminx, some random, I don't mean this in a like bad way, but some random kid. I, I don't know if that even sounds bad, just saying some random kid, but some random video on YouTube. I saw the Pyraminx, and then Megaminx, I wasn't exactly sure, I wasn't, uh, I didn't really know it was pretty much a 3x3. Three so I started watching me, myself, and Pi's video, and then I was like, oh, this is just a 3 by 3 so then I just figured it out on my own. What are your views on the 13 and 15? The 13 seems pretty good. I've seen one video on it. And the 15, there are no videos out on that, but uh, those are pretty intense. That was by Nivel Cuber, and the question before that was from Gordon Skywalker MC. And Cube Freak, how did you come with 
how did you come up with the idea of the name Tech Cube, dude? This, I have two theories. I'm not exactly sure. But usually when I'm deciding uh, what YouTube channel I uh, will get, like what the username will be, I usually look up youtube.com slash and then whatever I wanted it to be. So I probably looked up the cube dude. And then I'm doing it right now and it says this page isn't available. That means that someone, like nobody has that username. So that means that I could take it. But I must have thought that someone did have it. Or I just spelled the wrong. And then actually a third theory is I had some random channel with no videos on it. I think it was called the fortune cookie 101 or something like that but the was spelled incorrectly because I thought that was cool and I think that also played in with uh, creating the username to cube dude but I like it now a lot of people can't seem to pronounce it I don't really care how you pronounce it the cube dude or tech cube dude it's like my friend makes music because he goes by the name vexar and people say vexar vexair uh, I say the cube dude but in my intros, I say, hey guys, Tech Cube Dude here. Wait, what do I say? Hey guys, Tech Cube Dude. I think I say Tech Cube Dude. I, uh, I'm actually not even sure. You guys can go back to the beginning of this video and figure that out for yourself. But, uh, either way works. Just, if you say one way, stick with that. Don't be like, te, the, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Don't, don't do that. It's either Tech Cube Dude or The Cube Dude. You guys can choose. Either one is or other one is correct. Uh, last question on here. How long have you been cubing for? Uh, speed cubing since January 2012. I learned how to cube six or seven years ago in sixth or seventh grade. I know in seventh I did know how to solve it, but I think I may have learned in sixth. Maybe the summer between sixth and seventh. But actually, I think that might be right because I know I just got one of my new computers then, and yeah, that's all I know about that. And then I know I asked you guys, or I think I asked you guys to ask me some questions over Facebook a long time ago, so I'm going to pause this and then go ahead and find that post. And if it does not exist, then I will probably make a post because I have more time to answer questions. So as some of you have seen, I've posted a video titled Ask Questions, which is deleted by the time of this upload. Uh, but I got a bunch of questions from you guys. I got 90 comments, and some of those have multiple questions, so... Let's just get into these new questions. Epic Player 1-4, how can I get better with speed cubing? Uh, just practice, and uh, it would really help if you learn full PLL and OLL. Man vs. Cube, do you use full OLL? I do not. I'm working on it, though. Cybersheep27, what are your mains? I'm pretty sure I said them already, but uh, you can always check my About page, and there I have my averages, my PBs, and my mains. Milkway Galaxy 101, serious question, cookie or cream? And in parentheses it says Oreo. I'm gonna have to go with, uh, I don't know, they're, they're both good. I, 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 I don't really like when people just eat the cream because it, it's a waste because the cookie's good. So I'm gonna have to say both. Kevin Laster, will you start using stickerless cubes in competitions now that they will be legalized? Uh, probably not, unless there's some amazing GANs 3 or some amazing cube that's only in stickerless. Uh, Guilds God, where did your addiction to cubes come from? I have no, I'm not really sure, but I do have an addictive personality. I do collect a lot of things. I have around 300 snow globes. This is just random. I have like 50 bouncy balls because when I was younger, I used to collect bouncy balls. Uh, what else? I was obsessed. I, I sort of collected Guitar Hero games, I guess. I have all of them, I believe, because a few years ago I used to be obsessed with it. Latin cubes. If you have to sell all your cubes, which one would you sell more, more expensive and why? I would mix together my ghost cubes and sell all of those because those are going for around 400 on eBay. Henry Adams, do you like waffles and what toppings do you like best? I love waffles and uh, the fake maple syrup, okay, besides syrup. Uh, I'll have to go with butter and chocolate chips. Zakia Canada, how do you get all the cubes that you got and how much do they cost? Uh, how, how do I get them? I buy them. And how much do they cost? My collection is probably worth five thousand to seven thousand dollars I remember one time I added together all my things on my Google Pay but that included all the shipping but uh, still I've gotten a bunch of things as gifts most of my ex expensive cubes I've gotten as gifts such as my 11, 10, 9, 2 of my brain cubes uh, but so yeah around five thousand to seven thousand will you get the 13 by 13 by MP cubing 
or asked by MP Cubing, I will be getting the 13 by 13 and by the time you guys uh, see this video, which will be out, I'm planning on uploading it the 25th or 30th, but unless there's some video that I'll put it before that, it'll be uh, pushed back a little bit, but uh, I will be getting it, and I'll be getting it for a good price, too, so it's not, it's definitely not 300 and it's it's around 150 I think, what I'm getting it for. Hashtag Cuber, when you eat a taco, do you tilt your head at the taco or both? I actually like to do a handstand while I eat the taco. I do it against a wall, and then I tilt my head while doing the handstand. So that's how I eat my tacos. Nice try cubing. Do you think you'll be cubing for the rest of your life? Absolutely. Sunflower seeds. How long did it take you to get good at F2L? Like matching pair after pair consecutively. I'm still not amazing at it, but uh, I'm, it's good to sl uh, slow down yourselves sometimes and kind of see what you can do. and uh, Kind of like look ahead, I guess. But, I don't know, it took a while. You just have to practice. Practice is the main thing at getting better at cubing. If you ask anybody how to get faster, it's just practice. Do you like weasels from Origami Katakana? I do. Uh, should I get a Flower Minx Limited Edition Ice Blue Mega Minx Ball Limited Edition Ice Blue 4x4 Fisher or the Oscars Gift Cube? I would have to go with the Mega Minx Ball because the Mega Minx Balls are pretty cool. Cubing FTW, let's say you ate an apple, then a fish, and then a Diane Guhong V2. What would you do to save the fish or apple when you could just eat a chocolate? I'm going to go ahead and say 27. Mr. Brian Roche, what's your favorite animal? Uh, what is my favorite animal? Uh, tiger, lion, panda, squirrel, dog, hamster, or monkey. Actually, monkey's on the top of the list. Officer Emerald, how did you feel during your first competition? My first competition was a big one. It was Worlds 2013, and I had so much fun there. Only a few people recognized me, so it wasn't like now. I get recognized a little bit more now. But uh, it was still really fun. I wasn't nervous at all. I just sat there and started cubing. And I wasn't that fast compared to what I am now. But uh, to all those cubers out there who think they're slow... You guys should definitely still compete, because uh, I think Matt's Valk started competing when he averaged over a minute. So if you average over a minute, you can start cubing, and who knows, you might become the next Matt's Valk. Uh, Lucinda Zhao, when are you posting the results? They're out by now. Hayes Bretsky, how's the waffle delivery business going? Well, for a lot of you guys, uh, you guys don't know, I started a waffle delivery service at my school, because everyone loves waffles. After one day, I got shut down because I'm not allowed to run businesses from my dorm, which really sucks. But I made $19 that one day, so that's that. Uh, so now it's not even happening. Midnight Assassin, what is a question? Good question. PRN Cubers, what kind of music do you like? What are your thoughts on the song? And uh, the song, you guys can... I don't know, it's K391 featuring Corey, Fries and Han, Dream of Something Sweet. I listened to it, and it's not that great, but it's not bad. Guinea pigs rock. Would you rather have two hit? Okay, I already answered that one. I fire princess. What do you average on 3x3 three three now? Again, you guys can always check my about page, and I update that every time uh, my averages get lower. But right now I average uh, 18 seconds on the 3x3. Three three. Cheryl, do you think you will ever stop cubing? No. Did you open my package? What's your favorite potato chip? Doritos? Is it Doritos? Yeah, Doritos. Nacho cheese, the regular ones. And the nub's favorite chip. I have no clue. I'm gonna have to go ahead and s <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go ahead and guess. Cheeto puffs. I don't know if that's a chip. Or ruffles. Those are my guesses. Uh, I did not open your package yet. I'm waiting until I get two more, so I can do a fan unboxing. Which you guys should all send me stuff. Again, I have a my address is in the description. You guys should definitely send me stuff if you guys want to see more fan boxings. Uh, what are your mains two through seven? And what do you average? That's from Aj Ajinkya and then Leo. I'm pretty sure I already answered those in the first part, but uh, again, you can check my about page. I don't really want to list them right now because I already have one or two times. Do you preferred? Do you have a preferred sticker scheme? If so, what is it? Uh, I do have one, but it's weird because my main cube does not have that sticker, that uh, color scheme. I'll have a link to it in the description. It is my. It's uh. You can check out the sticker scheme on the cubicle because you can save them now so mine will be in the description 
What would you do if someone stole all your cubes? Probably cry. That's from Leo. Uh, Mega Mr. Apple Pie, what was your first competition? Worlds. Easy Studios, if you had to use a cube that wasn't black or white, what color would you use? I'd probably use stickerless because that will be legalized in 2015. But if I couldn't use those, I would have to go with probably blue. I have a blue cube. It's a ghost hand one, but now it has been turned into uh, my colorblind cube. I use the colorblind stickers on that, which are terrible, by the way. They don't help at all. Hey, to grow how? What's your favorite shape shifting puzzle? Probably uh, the ghost cube. Do you like black stickers on white puzzles? I do. If you got $500 worth of cubes free, which one would you get? Uh, to get a ghost cube for Smaz Time Machine. I'm actually looking at my wish list right now. Uh, Petaminx, and that would be around 500 right there. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, that was from Cubing is Awesome. Solar Cubing, is this the last question you're going to answer? No. Go to Nisox. Do you approve of Alakazam's Mega Evolution? I do. It looks pretty cool. Thomas Downey, what is your favorite puzzle? And if you don't own it, what would it be? I do own it, and it is the green ghost cube that I have. What is pi to 30 digits? That is from Soft Rockification. I, I know 3.14159265, and then I think there's another 5 after that. Alex Devani, left twix or right twix? Elie BB, less than 3. I don't know what the less than 3 means, so you might have to explain that to me. But I will have to say, let's see, if I open up a twix, I would have to go for the right twix. And then <laughs> Alex Devani, are you sad? No, I'm not sad. Zachary Osborne, if an orange is orange, why is a lime called a green or a lemon called a yellow? I don't know, because I live in America. That's that's my answer. Officially cubed, what was your first puzzle you ever owned? A, it was a Rubik's 3x3, which is currently ruined. It's ruined because I put it in the microwave. Don't ask why, or you can ask why in the description. I'll probably respond. How old are you? I am 18, born July 18th, 1996. Uh, cube art, chocolate or vanilla? I'd definitely have to go with chocolate. I hate vanilla ice cream. But I do like white chocolate, which isn't even related to this question at all. Or it's not even related to vanilla. But uh, it's a, white chocolate's not even chocolate, it's cocoa butter. For all of you guys that don't know. Dawson Wellman, your 3x3 main. Gans, 57mm. And the last question is Infinite Cuber. Are you going to Rose City 2014 in Portland, Oregon? I do plan on going. I will be using uh, Amtrak to get from Tacoma. Or I'll probably Uber to Seattle, or have a friend drive me to Seattle. Or whatever Amtrak is closest to Puget Sound. And then I will use, I'll get an Amtrak ticket or whatever to Portland, and then I know someone who will pick me up there and bring me to the competition. So, yes, I do plan on going to Rose City 2014 in Portland, Oregon, which is January 31st. If anybody wants to see me, you guys can go there. And then also go to Nub Open, which is January, let's see, when is it? January 17th, I think. Yeah, January 17th. You guys should all go there. And then I will be there, and Alex Devani the Nub, and Shane will be there. I just completely forgot there was actually one question that was marked as spam, because it has 17 questions. First two, average and main, two through seven. I already listed those. Favorite mass-produced puzzle, Ghost Cube. Favorite mod I've done. Uh, I've, I haven't really done anything except for the Siamese Cube. So I'm going to have to go with the Siamese Cube. What was your favorite mod to build? Siamese Cube. How did you get into cubing? I already explained that earlier in the video. Have you ever been to a competition? I have. What is your biggest cubing achievement? Probably uh, being sub-20, which took a while, or also reaching 9,000 subscribers, which was really awesome. So I, I can't wait until 10,000 subscribers. It'll be awesome. And I'll be having another contest then, and it'll be pretty big. And I'll, I think I might have a little surprise for you guys. I'm not quite sure yet, but there is a small chance I will have some weird surprise. Uh, number nine, what is your favorite video game? Call of Duty. How did you get into modding? I don't mod. How many puzzles do you have? As of me recording the audio, November 13th, I have 474, and after a few orders, I will have 483, I think. Uh, have you ever considered opening up a website for selling cubes? I have, but there's the cubicle and a cube mart. I will not be opening up a website to sell cubes. Non-cubing related section. Favorite video game? You already asked that in the cubing section. Favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. Favorite food? 
turkey sandwich, what car do you drive? I drive uh, a car I share with my brother, it's an Audi. Uh, five, this may start some controversy, are you religious? Uh, I prefer not to answer that because yes, it might, stir, it might start some controversy. If you really do care, you can message me personally. I won't be offended or I won't think it's weird, I'll just answer you. But I will not answer right now. So there are all the questions. I finally answered all of them. And I really appreciate all the questions you guys asked me. I'll do this again in a few months or maybe a year. But when I do it, I won't wait a couple months to answer all the questions. Alright, so that about wraps it up for the whole entire Q&A. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. This video's letters are WEP. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.